Hi, Franya Shelley Greeland of AnimalBehaviors.us. Let's talk about the most appropriate way to pet a cat. The most appropriate way to pet a cat is going to utilize a feline friendly approach, an approach that's going to be the most similar to what they would employ with each other, which means a side approach, avoiding direct eye contact. This may be comfortable from us as primates, but for most of the animal world, not so much. Additionally, we're going to confine our attentions to the areas that they feel the most comfortable with, which is going to be the side of the face or the muzzle, behind the ears, top of the head, and avoid the sides of the body unless we know them really well. So first let's start with approaching our presence. Preferably when you walk into the room and certainly when you get really close to your cat. Hi Kitty. So I and using that side approach, I'm also going to try blinking. This is a technique that's employed quite successfully by some people. You might get a response, you might not, but if you do the blink, make sure it's a slow one. Okay, so Kitty is a little bit mesmerized maybe by the camera, which is fine. Now I'm going to offer my finger, and you see how he kind of bunted a little bit into it. That's bunting. That's, that movement is actually a very friendly affiliative gesture, which is great. Kidding and I know each other, and so he is quite comfortable with being caressed by me. Look, I'm heading behind his ears. He's turning his head because this really feels good, it would appear. Petting between his ears. This is, again, are great areas to touch side of the muzzle. Now, if you know this cat, or if you know the cat, and you know the cat likes being touched along the body, along the flanks, go ahead and do that. If you don't know the cat, don't. It might be a little bit too much, too fast, too soon. Again, you want to make sure to lower yourself to them. Towering over or extending your hand can be perceived as threatening. Not exactly the most polite thing to do. So, again, I'm going to announce my presence. Hi, Julie. I'm going to go down to my cat from the side, offer my hand. I've got that snip again. If she was looking at me, I could do my blinking. I'm petting her on the top of her head, on the side of her face, along the muzzle. And if I know this cat, again, I can extend my petting on her body. She turned her face away, which is fine. I still have whiskers forward. I've got one ear that's gone down a little bit over there, but she's still interested. She's come back and turned around. If you keep getting that distance reducing behavior, if the cat stays next to you, that's just another way of saying that, that they're gonna be, wanna be close to you, then you know that your attentions are welcome. I've got a tail flick. So this might be an initial sign that the Petting is not exactly welcome, or maybe there's something else that she doesn't like. I've moved my hand away, and she's still doing that. So that might not be the petting. And what if your cat's lying in a cat bed on the floor? How do you approach? Same way. I'm going to announce my presence. I'm going to avoid direct eye contact, and I'm going to approach from the side. I'm going to offer my hand for a welcome snip, and I can also employ an eye blink, a slow one to see if I get that same response from the cat. I'm going to follow their cues. Hi, Cinnamon. I got a sniff, and I'm keeping my hands confined to the area that the cat is going to find the most comfortable, the most polite place. And what if you turn around and notice that next to you is a feline that's settled down and made himself or herself comfortable. Same rules would apply. You want to approach from the side and you want to announce your presence or introduce what you're about to do. She already knows that I'm here, but let me tell her that I'd like to pet her. Hi, Pino. I'm doing my blink and I'm going to pat right along the side of the muzzle. I start with behind the ear and I think this is welcome. I've got a really loud purr. Wanted you to hear that. Behind the ear again. I can go between the ears, side of the face, 
and I'm even going to try a little bit on the chest. I know what this kitty likes. See you later, Pino. Thanks.